all right y'all welcome to the channel it's your boy crypto fees and i got seven great tips for you as a new steam deck owner let's not waste no time let's get straight to it number one how to switch to desktop mode you're going to want to hold down the power button a menu will pop up then you'll click desktop mode this will bring you into desktop mode tip number two is changing the gamepad profile hold down the start button once you're in desktop mode you want to hold down the start button the top right menu button with the three lines on it hold that down and then that'll change your gamepad profile this will allow you to right click with your left thumb thumb pad trackpad and it makes things a lot easier it, it kind of makes the pad system more familiar to like a traditional mouse Tip number three is bringing up our keyboard. Once you're in desktop mode, it gets frustrating in the beginning. You click on something and you're expecting it to pop up automatically. It's not going to do this. So you're going to want to press Steam and X and that'll bring up your virtual keyboard. Tip number four, you're going to want to explore the Linux App Store. It's called Discover. You'll see it at the bottom left of the screen um, on the task manager bar and you're gonna want to go through there check out the apps there's emulators for game systems there's a lot of free answers to programs that you are accustomed to over on Windows so if you need to do like paperwork or anything else there's a whole bunch of video editing um, just different answers for all the programs you're used to on Windows um, that are compatible on, on Linux tip number five learn about file sharing it is very important to learn about file sharing. I use FileZilla. It'll save you a lot of money in the beginning if you just have money for your deck and you don't want to spend for all these peripherals. File sharing is going to save you a ton because you won't need a flash drive or anything. If you have a PC already at home in a Wi-Fi network, you'll be able to share anything from device to device. And it's very convenient if you're moving a lots of files over like games and uh, different different things you want to share between the two systems tip number six would be visit streamgriddb.com this will allow you to pick up artwork that'll fit the parameters for your steam work artwork that you, for your different games and non steam games and different emulators that you're going to add into the steam library once you add them into the steam library you'll be able to see it from the game steam os side of things as well um, and this way you'll be able to upload uh, custom artwork to those so you just don't get the gray square you'll be able to have a really nice library um, that you'll be proud of and tip number seven is going to be a performance maintenance script I found it on YouTube um, it's it's like a 30 minute long video but there's the tutorial part and it's really quick it's gonna it's gonna give you a lot of keep you keep your SSD drive very healthy um, keep your memory as fast as possible and allowing your games to transfer information a lot faster and read in right times which will um, and give you better gameplay so if you guys found these tips you know implement these tips if you find them um, to work out for you come back to the channel let me know leave a comment smash that like button it's your boy crypto fees thank you for watching peace and love